Hello my loves, thank you all so much for joining me today. I am back once again with your weekly readings for the week of October 17th through the 23rd, this time for my Earth signs, Capricorn, Virgo, and Taurus. I have laid out the cards already, so here are your messages for this coming week. You have the Two of Hearts. The Five of Clubs represented by the Devil. The Ace of Hearts. The Four of Hearts. And the Four of Diamonds. Okay, Earth Signs. And I see a lot of myself in this as well because I am a Capricorn, as you guys know. So this also relates to me. So at the start of this coming week, pace yourself is the message here. Everything in moderation. You don't want to do too much and then expect too much also in return. Just do one thing at a time. I feel like you're um, you're overthinking too much, um, which is what I mean. It's a quality that all Earth signs have. We always overthink, uh, and we're in danger it of sabotaging our own selves with the devil um here so um we do have a lot of ideas though you know creative ideas that um we always want to try um and a lot of we're, we're thinking a lot about how to advance in our careers or in in uh life in general and we're always looking to improve ourselves. So, but the, the key word here for, for this coming week is just to pace yourself. Uh, everything in moderation, don't, um, don't overthink, don't overwork yourself because you, we as earth signs are our own worst enemies sometimes. We overwork ourselves, we overthink, and we just create fake scenarios in our head and we worry ourselves and it, it's not good. It is not good. Um, but we take everything seriously. and But sometimes we just need to learn how to pace ourselves. I know at the, at the end of it, the end all be all um, is that we want to succeed. And it's going to happen. It's going to happen, believe me. But we just need to pace ourselves and not self-sabotage ourselves. Um, we have a lot of ideas, which is good. Um, but you're overthinking things too much. Take a step back. You know, if you gotta do, um, if you gotta meditate, if you've gotta just go take a walk, go out and, you know, do something um, like an errand or uh, go shopping just to distract yourself, do it. Ideas come when we least when we least expect it. You know, for me, I tend to overwork myself sometimes or just I overthink too much. But when I take a step back and take a breather, like a mental break, the answers come to me when I least expect it. And I know that it will for you too. Um, but key word here, everything in moderation. Take it one day at a time, one step at a time, and everything will fall into place. You're very creative. You want to express creativity like me, for example. I mean, I've been wanting to take on art, like just, you know, on a whim. Like I was just thinking one day, like, um, what if I took on art as a hobby, you know? Um, I want I want to express myself creatively, and I'm trying to figure out ways in which I can do that. Um, so maybe like for you guys, for Virgos and Tauruses and fellow Capricorns, like you, you have that creative spark in you, and you want it 
express it and you want to share it and, and and that's a good thing that's a good thing but you there's so many ideas that you have because the end goal here is that you want more like you know more money you want to be stable you want to you want to be filled with abundance and prosperity you want to have that continually coming in and you will you will but you just have to pace yourself don't overthink, don't overwork, don't listen to any negative attitudes. Don't even start thinking negatively because you're going to sabotage all your hard work and it's not going to be good. Believe me, you're going to fall back and you're going to you're just going to stop yourself from moving forward and it's it's not a good thing. But remember, key words here, pace yourself. Give yourself some time to think, you know, take take a mental break. Don't overthink too much. When you're not thinking about it, the answer is gonna come to you. You will be stable. You're gonna be okay financially. You know, so no worries there on that front. Um, even if you have to distract yourself, like by doing something creative, like, you know, take on a new project um, or, you know, um, do something fun. Um, go to an art exhibit, go to um, a, a play, do something to, to kind of, something that you like to distract yourself from what's going on. And then that way you can, you can figure out the steps that you need to take to reach your goal in the end. But remember guys, please everything in moderation one thing at a time don't take on too much or take on as much as you think you can handle if you can't handle any more than what you have right now don't take on any more please because what's going to happen is that you're going to wind up sabotaging yourself or maybe someone uh is is jealous of your success and maybe wanting to sabotage you but i mean whatever the case may be you need to just block that out, cancel that, and you know think about yourself and think about your your health and and all that good stuff and everything else will fall into place. And with that being said, those are your messages for my Earth signs, Capricorn, Virgo, and Taurus for the week of October seventeenth through the twenty third. If you like this video, go ahead and click that like button. Don't forget to subscribe. Um, if this resonated with you, let me know in the comments below um, how it resonates with you. Um, if it doesn't, don't worry about it. Leave it be. It may resonate with someone else. Um, but with that being said, thank you so much for uh, being here with me today. I love each and every one of you, all my viewers. May God bless you and care for you and protect you always. And have a great weekend and a blessed coming week and I will see you on the next video. Bye.